Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Everybody, old Captain here, and this is a video request, and if you have a video request, and more importantly, do you have fucking money that you are willing to part with and give to me for my advice, I will gladly do so. Go to assholeconsulting.com, follow the fucking instructions, and everybody will be very happy, and I'll have a couple more bucks in my pocket. <clears throat> Jolly good day, Captain, I have a video request. I'm currently studying electrical engineering, uh, information technology, and in the STEAM University in Deutschland, yeah! <clears throat> I soon have to choose a field of specialization. I narrowed it down to either computer engineering, which is lots of programming, not the app kind of programming, but the core computer programming of microcontroller operating system robots and stuff like that, or automation, which is basically how to build assembly lines plus sensory technology and generally more focused on a high slash big industrial manufacturing. The absolute majority of students choose this specialization and he puts a quotation, is this the most demand? I plan to focus on robotics with my compulsory optional subjects, construction and programming, but I'm not sure what the job market looks like right now and what the future might bring. My goal is lots of money so you can leave fun out of the equation. I was thinking of applying for a sales job in the engineering area after all, oh, you're going to the dark side after, oh, poor man, poor man. After my degree, because I've heard this is where you can make the most amount of money after some years of experience, go the entrepreneurial route. But I like your take on that too. Uh, dude, don't worry about that until you work some engineering and you actually understand the business and the products and you can actually sell it. So you're not, oh, I'm just going to sell shit. I've never met, except for Barr, some rare star stellar performers who just have that gift to sell selling ice to Eskimos, that kind of thing. Don't do it because I've never seen a reliably employed salesman, aside from the star ones. Um, so what would your super smart economist opinion be on the best specialization and the developing job market international because we are getting gang raped by taxes here? I don't plan to waste half of my labor on the muhajajins and lazy people. Which country would be best to be in work after my studies? I plan to work like an animal for a few years, then dial it down later, live on a small farm somewhere. All right, so I looked into this, um, and that's why we had additional conversation <clears throat> about what type of jobs. And after all the research I did, it still looks like the, uh, the um, computer programming route is the way to go. Now, again, fortunately, you're in a field where you can't fuck it up. Um, if this, you're not going to be in the unemployment line trying to collect a, a government check if you go with robotics. But based on the starting salaries I've seen, based on the research I've done, the computer programming is going to be higher, uh, higher paid, also more universally hireable. Um, like if you go to, oh, I'm trying to think of a country where they don't make anything. Uh, Denmark. Let's just say Denmark. Not a lot of factories in Denmark. I don't know. There could be. Don't if you're Danish, don't fucking email me. I'm just saying there's places where they don't make United Kingdom, they don't make shit there anymore. They're just like, oh, we're in London, we got a finance center. Yeah. That's basically it. Um but whereas there's always a need for computer programming, I understand the difference. We're not talking applications or software, you're talking the operating systems. So <clears throat> that is a much more universally um sought after skill and what also makes me kind of fear again or go against the robotics you say everyone is doing that well that means there's a higher supply and that would actually lower the salaries which is what showed up in the research with the starting and median salaries of the various uh job titles you gave me so i'm i can't say for sure because uh, it's it robotics it's not really that kind of standard uh, of a degree, it, it looks like uh, you'd want to go the computer programming route. This does not say, however, you could not down the road go and work in robotics or assembly line um, assembly. 
Uh, but it, it's just, if you're, if you're looking for money and employment, that looks to be the route to go. Now, <clears throat> where should you work? Wherever you get the most fucking money. That's where you should work. So, I know you don't like Germany, uh, but you got the EU there. I would try and go and find different places that you can work wherever you can. Wherever that fucking money is, that's where you go. See if you can't get into the United States. If you understand Japanese, go to Japan. If you like China, go to... I mean, go wherever you want. You go wherever the, the money is. Um... And so you'll do fine. And then uh, maybe like, you know, which country would be best to be and work in after my studies? And then afterwards, you'd like to work like an animal and then settle down in a small farm somewhere. Uh, oh, I don't know. That's where you're traveling. Because I've been a lot of requests from a lot of young men who are who are in the engineering field who saying, well, where would I, what should I do? Where should I go? Well, I, ca I cannot answer you that question specifically because... You're different. Every person is different. Some people, I'll absolutely, I know people who absolutely love Wyoming. I fucking hate Wyoming. And we're politically aligned and, and all this other stuff. There is, we can take all the engineering and all the training and all the education and the politics, wipe it all away. You're still going to be a unique individual with tastes and preferences. They're going to be unique and special to you. And so whereas I would say, oh, you know, try New Zealand, try Australia... Um, try Colorado, that's me. I'm trying to guess what you'd like. So a lot of men, it's 10 years. It's a 10-year process because that's how long it took me. It's going to take you 10 years of traveling around the world and visiting different countries for a significant period of time and not on the fucking um, tourist traps. Like you actually got to go into Thailand a little bit, take the fucking train. <clears throat> then you'll figure out will you or will you not like this area to retire in or buy buy your small farm with some acreage. Okay, well, that's not Hong Kong. There's no acreage to buy, let alone a farm to put down. So uh, I would say after you know after you graduate, you get your degree, your work, and you get your job, take a, a two-week vacation as frequently as you possibly can. Might be a benefit of working in Germany because you guys have, what, seven, eight months vacation? You only work like two months a, a, a year, right? You're too busy paying taxes for everybody else that comes into your country because they're fucking lazy. Yeah. Anyway, um, explore around, check shit out, and then start planting flags there. Seeing if, oh, this looks all right. This, uh, that looks all right. So, but yes, uh, the computer programming route, um, work wherever you can, wherever the money is, and then do a little bit of traveling. That's all we got. Toodles.